My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our vocabulary. Today we will have our 93rd lesson in our series of vocabulary words, day number 93. Let's begin, shall we? The very first word we will learn today is. 495, the word is K G. That's it. Simple two syllables KG. What does it mean to be KG? It means to be very clever. To be to be very clever. To be very Clever. It's an adjective. To be careful. To be careful in what you say and how you answer any questions. If the questions are being asked about a certain topic, and if you're being very careful as to how you phrase your answers, what sort of words you use, be very careful, very shrewd in how you answer your question, answer the questions, that person is being very cagey. It means to avoid, to avoid being trapped. You're asking me all these line of questions because you're you're trying to trap me into saying something, you're trying to trap me into admitting something. I'll make sure that I don't say that. I'll make sure that I don't admit anything. I'm being cagey. It means to be, to be shrewd, to be shrewd, to be crafty, to be crafty. You're not going to get anything out of his lawyer. We're not going to get anything out of his lawyer. Michael's lawyer is very cagey. He's very clever. He's very clever into what he says, how he answers your questions. He's not going to, he's not to be trapped. He's, he's not someone who's, who's going to be trapped. You're not, going to, you're not going to get anything out of him. He's very cagey. He's a very shrewd fellow. He's a very clever fellow. He's a very smart fellow. He's cagey. Let's learn this word, crafty. Crafty, the word crafty has a certain nuance to it. It does mean to be clever. It does mean to be clever, but it has a certain nuance to it. Let, let's learn it. I'm not going to, well, maybe since it's there, I'm going to, since it's there. Crafty. It means to be skillful. It means to be skillful to be skillful but in a in an in an underhanded manner in an underhanded manner you're being sneaky, you're being tricky. It means to be tricky. It means to be tricky. To be deceptive. To be deceptive. You're not being straightforward. You can't trust him. You can't trust Michael. Michael is one of the most crafty persons I know. One of the most crafty persons I know. You're not going to be able to. You're not going to be able to deal with him. You're not going to be able to get anything out of him. He's very crafty. Be careful when you're dealing with him. He's crafty. Crafty has nothing to do with being being arts and uh, being good in arts and crafts. It has nothing to do with being good with your hands. Crafty means you're, just, you're full of deceit. You're being deceptive. You're lying to me. You're tricky. You're being crafty. You're not being straightforward. So as I said, this word has a certain nuance to it. It has a very strong negative nuance. Crafty. It has a very strong negative nuance, which kg may or may not have. But crafty is definitely is a negative word. It carries a negative nuance. It means to be deceitful. It's not to be straightforward, not to be honest. He's crafty. Whereas this word, 
whereas this word is a positive word. It has a positive nuance. Shrewd. Let's learn it up, up here. What does it mean to be shrewd? Let's first learn how to pronounce it. Shrewd. Very simple, very straightforward. It's an adjective. It just means to be clever. It doesn't mean that you're clever in a bad way, in a negative way, you're sneaky, you're underhanded, you're dishonest. It doesn't mean that. It just means the person is clever. Having, having, keen, insight. If you understand, if you understand certain topic, you understand certain certain material, you understand certain area, you're very shrewd in that in that when it comes to that. When it comes to when it comes to dealing in foreign currency, you should talk to Michael. He's very shrewd. He's been doing it. He's been dealing in foreign currency for a long time. He's a shrewd trader. He's a shrewd trader. He knows what he's doing. He's very clever when it comes to foreign exchange. He's very astute. He is very sagacious. He is very sagacious. He is a shrewd investor. It's a positive word. It has a, it has a positive nuance. Whereas this word, crafty, has a negative nuance. As you can see, it means to be in an underhanded manner. You're tricky. You're deceitful. Shrewd does not. Shrewd just means you're clever in a good way. You're shrewd. You, you're shrewd. Because you have a lot of knowledge, you have a lot of insight, you have studied the material, you know what you're doing. He's a shrewd investor. Michael is a shrewd investor. He's a clever investor. He knows what he's doing. It doesn't mean that he's dishonest. Do you understand? Whereas, whereas crafty does mean that the person is dishonest. Let's learn this word. Astute. Astute. It means it means to be to be mentally sharp. It means to be to be clever. To have to have keen judgment. You are able to understand, you have the sharp ability to notice and understand minute differences, the subtle differences, subtle nuances of the situation. He is very, he's very astute. Michael is a shrewd politician, or rather astute politician. Astute and shrewd, they are similar, they are their synonyms. They are synonyms. He is a astute politician, he is a shrewd politician, he is a clever politician. He is very sagacious, he is very clever, he is full of wisdom, he knows what he's doing. And the word was astute, astute. He is an astute politician. He is very astute. Let's learn the next word. I don't want to squeeze in here. Let's do it separately. The word we're going to learn is the word that I just erased, which was sagacious. They are all related, they all mean the same thing. Sagacious, astute. Shrewd, they all mean the same thing. So, gay, shush, shush. So, so, gay, shush. Shagacious. What does it mean to be shagacious? It means to be wise. This means to be wise, to be full of wisdom, to be full of wisdom and knowledge. To possess sound judgment. To possess sound judgment. And the synonyms, as I said, are astute, 
and shrewd. The last thing we want to learn here, sagacious, the noun of sagacious is, the noun of sagacious is, so, gas, e, t, sagacity, sagacity is the noun, if the person is said to have sagacity, that means the person has wisdom, person has shrewdness, person has cleverness, person has mental sharpness. He's astute, he's clever, he's shrewd, he's sagacious, he's full of wisdom. He's a, he's a very wise fellow, sagacious. It means to have keen, it means to have, to have keen or rather it just means to, to be to be to be perceptive to be perceptive to be perceptive the last thing we want to learn we want to learn is well again I need the room so we're gonna to have to erase it give me one second here and then we'll erase this thing we'll learn our last word This is the word we want to learn. Of course, it's a very simple word, and we know what it means. So, what is it that we want to learn here? Well, let's find out. Per sep tip. If someone is perceptive, that means he's clever, he's wise, he's full of wisdom, he knows a lot, he has a lot of knowledge, he's astute, he's, he's shrewd, he's sagacious. The question is. If someone is perceptive, what quality does he have? What's the noun of perceptive? The noun of perceptive is it is for this reason, it is for this reason that we put the word in the blackboard. The noun is pers spi cas. T. And you have to say slowly first before you learn how to pronounce it properly. The noun is perspicacity. Perceptive person has perspicacity. He's full of perspicacity. Why is he full of perspicacity? Because he is perspicacious. Because he is perspicacious, which is the adjective. Perspicacious, 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 cas a t. If you say it slowly one by one, one syllable at a time, it sounds weird. Perspicacity, perspicacious. He's per perspicacious because he is perceptive. He has perspicacity. People, most people do know the word perceptive, but it is the noun and the adjective that the people have trouble with, which is why we covered it. Perspicacity and perspicacious. I know.